Mm. The house runs. They're making their house. Yeah, we have a strawberry. <laughs> uh, and some blueberries. But yeah, I planted a, a garlic, an actual piece of garlic in the ground in there. Now we're going to be growing garlic. An actual garlic clove. I just throw it in dirt. Same with those potatoes. If you don't use a potato, it starts growing something. I threw it in dirt, and this is what what's happening. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty cool. So it just rained like crazy here, and now it's crazy muggy out here. Hmm. There's somebody inside. Yeah, they're, uh... They're making their nest in there. And, uh, gonna be having babies, and the little ones are gonna be popping out. We saw this last year. Not sure if it's the same ones every year, or maybe just the offspring that keeps on coming back, or, but they keep on coming back. <laughs> the house rent, and that's their house. On our deck. Yeah, somebody's in there. I can see the thing shaking. Their house shaking. It's really crazy sounds around here. I think that extra loud sound is, or like these toads that are all over the place. That's what I think they are. I'm not sure what they are. It's like our own cookies. I don't want to get too close to them because they start yelling at us if we get too close to the the nest <laughs> that's pretty cool man that's pretty cool so I'll just try to sneak by without getting yelled at okay let's see what we got going on here got some nice plants All right uh, Gutter is doing pretty well. Didn't drown out all those plants right there. Oh, there's a, uh, there's one. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that thing. They go in and out of the house and they fly away. So this is what we got going on over here. Plants. I had to make fences because the deer or something keeps on eating the plants, so I had to put up fencing. The roses are popping. Definitely had to make a taller fence because the freaking deer really like eating roses. I'm like, screw off, bro. Come on. Making a video. Yeah, I am. I'm definitely a white trash. Would you turn off that light, you freaking fiend?
No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> You're so silly. Turn on all the freaking switches just to turn on the lights. Here comes the heat, right? It got real hot. It got real hot. Real muggy. That was. Nice. Put up some. Uh, how about these things? Maybe keep buggies away. Uh, you know, tiki torch thingies. Our little area. Fire pit. like crazy. See, I put these bird seed things, and it was cool until all the leaves came in. <laughs> the leaves weren't there before, and now from the deck you can't you can't even see this thing. You have to come out like over here. And the birdies, black and yellow birdies. I think they're warblers. Love that. Same with this tree. All the leaves came in, and you can't see this from the deck. <laughs> but hey, you know, it's all good. <laughs> Got real hot. Amazing. Quite tropical. What? Quite tropical. Yeah. So this area is going to be like a, uh, a bee butterfly area hopefully planted a lot of wildflowers in there and already wildflowers that were already here I think they're daisies those ones a lot of them are popping though you got the blue little blue flowers this could be like a little thing to help pollinate whatever these are just natural little flowers that are even ready. Pretty cool. I don't know. We got a couple of pear bushes, pear ones, or uh, trees that is, and a couple of apple trees right there. I don't know. They keep on getting rocked by something. Some sort of animal keeps on rocking them. So I'm gonna have to like put like a fence around this. I'm gonna have to make a fence. I don't know, I had to, oh, there's a friend. There's a friend. They like that stump. All sorts of chipmunks. There's all sorts. But I had the idea, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work, but one of the branches fell or got broken. And I just stuck it in the ground. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Eh, try to get some apples and pears. So Blossom Center. Yep. Everybody's out now. I chilled out with the rain. Check out Soul Blossom Center. Yeah, that's what's going on in here. Eventually, it'll be uh, popping with uh, good stuff, good meetings, and my love's work area. Huh. Not too bad for a half ass carpenter. Alright. Yeah, gonna put the light switches. Did some. Yeah. Not bad. Half ass carpenter, half ass everything. A jack of everything. <laughs> Definitely a master of none. This is my spot spot 
when I finally fix this up, so you can walk in here and actually work, and do stuff that I need to do to build or whatever. Yeah, made a little table using tools that were here left here and tools that were given to me given to us this is a uh, Mr. Van saw I use it well uh, in honor of his spirit oh. Lord you might recognize that we kept that around. If you want it back someday, you can grab it. It's all good. I have my workout. I just made this. The workout bar. I can get a, uh, do my pull-ups with that. I had to rig it somehow to make it work. But Everything. Where are you going to put it? Everything. Everywhere. <laughs> You're mute. You're mute. Stop slacking off. <laughs> I am. It's my day off. I can. Here's our greenhouse, and we're doing uh, we're doing pretty well with that. There's a rain catcher I saw somewhere, and I wanted it. Catch some rain. It was like overflowing with the freaking rain, as you can see. It's definitely overflow. <laughs> you can use the rainwater, reuse it. Rainwater. That's awesome. You can use it for whatever. You know. This little area. I didn't really. I just kind of left it. Let it grow. Fuck it. See all these? These are all little trees. They're all little treelings. <laughs> I have to clean that up. There's like extra parts for extra things. This is crap that was left over. I might use it somewhere. I had to build this because creatures of the night like to go into garbages. And I learned the hard way. Actually, I heard it. And then I saw, I heard something walking away at night. I'm like, hmm, that sounds very big. <laughs> I'm like, all right, well, I can't keep it in my in my spot because there's not enough room in there. So I made something out here. Got to waterproof it eventually. Out of this ass board stuff, but it works. You know? Lift that. And we got a garbage thingy, and a recycle thingy. And I had to... <laughs> See, this is what kind of half-assed carpenter I am. Yeah, This was like all one. That was all one. I'm like, well, that's going to be a little hard to get garbage out of there. I didn't think of that. So I just freaking like cut it horribly down there. I can't even get like another hinge down there because the gap is too big <laughs> I made like a half ass door so I can get the freaking garbage can out so I can get the garbage out dumbass but it's all good yeah it's all right it works that's my motto I'm not a carpenter I'm not anything but I can make something work kind of and it probably looks horrible and that's okay that's my uh that's our uh, little wood pile. Had to make a little roof for it. Then we can use wood. I'm gonna make another one of those somewhere else. Maybe, maybe right next to here. Who knows? More donations from Mr. Van. Got a uh, generator. Works wonderfully. That awesome additive. What a good idea. A muffler to <laughs> calm down the sound. It's awesome. I have to get this thing working. 
There's a snowthrower. Good thing this one was here when we got here. That thing was left by the previous owner. That's really handy because it grows quite large around here. You got the Buddha spot. This is a Buddha. This is a Buddha spot. We got lots of land out there. Lots of land out there too, going to the street. So the owls, actually the owls have been back here. We've been hearing them. You know, like phase two or three of their life, being schooled of how to do things. Right. You hear that? I think that's freaking toads or something. Because they're like all over the place. They're like all over the place. I don't think it's a bird. I'm not sure. Maybe someone else knows. It's in a greenhouse. This thing is doing pretty well. For... I mean, Wendy's the only green thumb around here, not me. So I'm kind of learning as we go. I kind of got this idea from YouTube. Freaking works. It freaking works. I don't know what to tell you. Freaking work. You know, got some seeds. Started planting them and see what happens. Right. Oh yeah, it's getting hot in here. Oh yeah. So we had lettuces right here. Yeah, like cilantro right there. We're gonna take out this area, <laughs> replant other lettuces. There's like uh, chives, There's different kinds of beans, different kinds of beans. Right. This is uh, some sort of squash. I think it's like some sort of squash. It's doing it, man. It really is. It's doing it. Got the flower. That's where it's coming from. Carrots. <laughs> I saw a carrot and it was like two inches long. I'm like, yeah, that's all right. At least we got them. Yeah. We're still learning. The tomatoes, they're growing like very tall. I haven't seen a tomato yet, though. These things are beets. They're a little, like a type of beet. And they're growing. Yeah. They're like a type of beet. Just beat it, alright? Just beat it. I think these are peppers. Right over there. Some sort of peppers. It's pretty cool. Not sure what this is supposed to be. We'll find out. Well, let's have to ask Wendy again. I'm sure she told me like a hundred million times. Kale. And we rocked this uh, lettuce. There's like from there, there over was like lettuce, and we used it all. Whoa, it's getting hot in there. Keep this closed. These freaking uh, chipmunks—they like to go in there, and they want to. They don't really eat anything, but they just want to go in there and be douchebags. But that's fine. This is their land. We're just on here with them. This is their land. So something. Something clawed at that thing. I had to, this is like a, a repair. Someone clawed at something. <laughs> something. Something did. A little, uh, little mini garden thingy over here. Got some basil, some thyme, rosemary. This is the back of it. We haven't even had a, uh, yeah, I should prop this up. Got a little window. Oh, where's my stick? There it is. Uh. 
aired out a little bit. We're getting hot in there now. Here, we're real hot in there. This is the back of the house. Wow, look at all that steam. That is like crazy because it's so fr it got so hot. Some like medicinal herbs that are just here already. Right. This is one of the first things I worked on was this bed. This bed was here already and the one next to down there. I had to put up more uh, gutter. Did pretty well. Like I said, half-ass everything. I don't know, half-ass everything. This bed is was newly put here by me. These roses are popping. Smell the roses. These freaking these were planted by Dill and Wendy. This is a uh, raspberry sticks. Sticks that they <laughs> that she sent away for, and they're actually growing. They're actually growing. So we got some raspberries, and they're freaking growing like very fast. see them but like it's already growing like might even get like berries at it like this year amazing like stuff really grows here like everything everything grows like very well this huge bush slash tree slash bush is the hummingbirds love I love this yeah, do some mulching. The mulch this area, this bed, and these berries were here when we uh, when we got here. They're growing like crazy, but we got to beat. We got to beat these birds and everything else to it. We got we got the friggin' we got to beat them to it. <laughs> Not sure how to protect these berries from them, but I guess whoever gets there quicker. This is a bush that was given to us. I think uh, Robin, Wendy's friend. This is starting to pop. That's brand new. Nice. Nice healthy bush. Plant. We got a lot of berries right here. There's all sorts of even new new spurts of growth of fur berries. That's awesome. And uh, asparagus. That was given to us by a friend, Sarah. Kind of weird, but it's all good. Maybe next year we'll uh, actually get like the real asparagus they can we're gonna eat. Probably could eat this one, but uh, it was like really thin. That's cool though. All this stuff keeps on growing though. Comes back every year. This over here. Actually, I'm gonna have to do, deal with this a little bit later. The compost area. Our compost. And when we take the. When we, when it becomes pretty good compost, I'm gonna put it in this this little pen that I made, so we can use it later for growing. Cause stuff grows better with compost. And this is just leftover foods that usually would get thrown away in the garbage and do nothing. You throw into this thing. You turn you turn it every once in a while. You add dry stuff like dry leaves or even like. Just dry stuff that can break down to to make uh, well. You could throw dry stuff in there if it's too wet, and you throw, you throw wet stuff in there if it's too dry. Like a lot of the stuff that we compost it comes from the kitchen. You know, cut up greens, cut up you know, cut up stuff. The only thing you can't really compost is like meat. 
and it becomes freaking dirt. It becomes freaking dirt. You got some dirt in there. Yeah. Actually, it's grown some stuff in there. You know what? <laughs> it's it's growing stuff because there's freaking there's stuff in there that was tossed, and that now it's growing. Now it. <laughs> I had, to, I had to tell Wendy that. <laughs> there's stuff growing there because there's seeds in there from freaking other stuff that that we used. You know, like, uh, you know, stuff from vegetables and stuff. It's growing in there. <laughs> That's too funny. Everything grows. This, this land is very special. I just want to share that with everybody. Hope everyone has a good day. Stay blessed.